everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In today's video tutorial, we want to talk about the system PHP version. We've been working um, kind of around the clock here to get our system PHP versions up to date and we finally completed it. So here at NameHero, currently it's um, almost March in 2019 and we've upgraded all of our systems to run on PHP 7.2. So this was kind of a big jump because for quite a while we used 5.6, then 5.6 reached end of life and security updates and then we um, made the decision, we went with 7.0, and now we've made the decision to across the board to go to 7.2. Now, if you're a current customer of us here at Name Hero, you know we allow you to use multiple versions of PHP. So if your website's not ready, if you haven't coded it um, to meet the new PHP 7.2, you can still revert back. Now, the question we get here at Name Hero, well, is that secure? Well, yes, all of our alternate PHP versions are completely secured and completely updated. So you're not, you are running, say, PHP 5.6, but it's not the uh, old version of it. It's a secured and updated version. So it is secure to run that. And we're able to offer this through our partnership with Cloud Linux. So all of our um, shared and reseller nodes operate um, using Cloud Linux. Now, if you have a VPS with us, um, you actually would have to purchase a Cloud Linux license. It doesn't come standard, but you can run multiple versions of PHP now with just standard Apache. <clears throat> But with all that said, we've had some questions recently and there's some confusion, which of course was such a big change there, we expected some. So I wanted to get on YouTube here. I wanted to do a video to explain, you know, if you don't like PHP 7.2, how to revert back and, you know, also how to manage your full PHP with us here at Name Hero. Um, I know on our YouTube channel, we have several videos on selecting PHP version and altering extensions and all that. Um, however, a lot of stuff has changed over the years since a lot of those videos were made. So I wanna definitely start some new videos um, to explain it even further. So um, again, all of our systems are now running PHP 7.2 and I'm gonna show you how to manage that and also how to change it back if you would like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna log into my basic hosting account. I've got a demo account that's just running our basic hosting. If you're a reseller, your customers will follow these same steps or you can of course follow this for them. So I'm going to go to login, hover over account and click login and that's going to take me to here. Well it's actually going to take me to here. I'm going to select my package so click cloud web hosting and I'm going to go over here to keydiets.com because that's the website that we're going to mess with. Um, so to start managing my PHP I need to get into cPanel. So under actions I can just click login to cPanel and that brings me to here. So cPanel, of course, is where everything is done for your website. You know, nowadays cPanel is so, um, it, you can use it so well. Um, you can use its file manager. You know, there's no need for any programs on your computer, just unless, unless you want them. You know, if you want to use an FTP program, by all means. Um, if you don't want to use SSH, of course, you can use file manager as well. So um, you have that option, but cPanel is pretty awesome nowadays. It does a lot of stuff. So let's, um, let's look at PHP. So I'm going to type in here at the top PHP. And you can see I've got a couple different options here. So first, let's talk about the multi-PHP manager. We're going to click it here. This shows what the system PHP version is. So this is going to show what the actual node or server that you're running on is running. And so you can see it is 7.2. Now, if you look at our site here, it um, says domainkeydiets.com, PHP version 7.2. So that's what we are currently using. So now if I go back to here and go to select PHP version, right here, you can see I've got 7.2. Now the native version is what we just discussed. This is the default PHP version. So this can change from time to time. You know, as I said, we just changed a 7.2. So, um, you know, if you just had it set on native, then your site automatically changed. You're already using it, all good to go. Now, if you have selected a custom PHP version, that doesn't change. So let's talk about that. So by default, now everyone uses the native version, but you can change your PHP version to your website and this will never change. So if we do another system upgrade and change it, say when 7.3 um, gets around to it, um, this won't change. So you know, some people, it may break your website if you're not ready for such a change. So that's why we allow this multiple selection. Now, all of these versions of PHP, these are secure. So even if we go to 4.4, set as current, and now we're running a very, very old version of PHP, it's actually updated and secured. So, and it's, again, I don't really recommend running 4.4 because there's a lot of speed and optimization that's taken place. Um, but you know, you have to do what you have to do for whatever your script is. You know, I think in most people, you know, 5.6 is as far back as they're going to go, but we do have those other options available. 
Now, if I head over here to PHP's um, just main website, php.net, and it talks about their supported versions. And so you can see these are the versions of PHP that actually receive updates from the PHP community. So you can see today's February 18th, and you know 7.0 has reached its end of life here. Um, it's so it's no longer receiving security fixes, active support to nothing. So it's that's why 7.0 is no good. Um, 7.1, you can see it's starting to it's just receiving security fixes, whereas 7.2 is has active support and security fixes, and that's going to happen all the way up until the end of 2020. So um, 7.2 has got quite a while away to, to be going there. So you know, this is a good um, website to visit to, to check on it because you know, with the online world especially with PHP, things change and it's continually being developed to increase speed, to increase um, the overall performance and to increase security. Um, so you always want to be running the latest version if possible. So 7.3, of course, is available. So you may say, well, Ryan, why didn't you guys go to 7.3 as a native version? Well, that's because there's still some pretty, not tremendously big changes, but there is some changes between 7.2 and 7.3 and not everyone's website is ready for it. Since 7.2, we still have quite a bit of way to, until we have to worry about it receiving receiving end of updates, um, that's what we're going to use as our default. So for quite some time, it will be that. But again, you can change it if you would like right inside of here. So um, if, let's just go back to native really quick and set as current. So again, this uses just the default uh, PHP options. And I say, well, Ryan, I need to upgrade or change my memory limit or max include variables. So if you want to make changes to the basic, you have two options. One, you can click 7.2 here, set it as current, and then you could, you're running what's called Alt PHP 7.2. So again, this won't change. So if we change the system version 7.3, you're gonna stay on 7.2. So this is for those that um, are running very specific applications to the PHP version. Um, you know, maybe you're a developer and you know, you, you're gonna rewrite your queries when 7.3 comes about or whatnot, and you just don't want it to change. So that you select it hardly here, and you can click switch to PHP options, and this is where you can set those memory limits, upload limits, you know, max file size is a big one. You know, you probably want to increase that to like 64 megabytes, um, increase your max request variables or, or, you know, whatever you need to increase and you can save it here and this never changes. So um, this is the way a lot of our customers like to do it. Now, if you want to stay on whatever the default system version is, let's say that um, maybe you're running WordPress and maybe you're really good about keeping WordPress updated and you just want to make sure you're always running the latest version of PHP. Well, you can keep it set as native. And if you want to change some of the values, such as the upload limits, your max include variables or whatever, you can go back in here to cPanel. We can type in PHP and we can go to the multi PHP any editor. So this is going to actually edit the default version of PHP for your specific cPanel. So if I click this drop down here, you can see I can edit for the entire home directory or just a specific domain. So a lot of customers, they run multiple domains in one cPanel. So if you have multiple domains and one cPanel and you don't want all the sites to use it, um, then you can just select one domain. If you want it to apply to all your sites, you just click the home directory and that will do it. So now we can go down here and we've got all these extra options that we can configure. So as it was in the PHP selector, we can actually select them here. And if we want to change our max input time or our max input variables or anything like that, we can customize these right here. And this is going to work with the latest version of PHP. Now, again, once this changes, then these values will change as well. So this is how it's done. Um, if I go back into here and go to PHP, multi PHP manager, you know, I can always, um, you know, go back and look and see what the system default version is. So my personal opinion, I like to use the PHP selector instead of these options here. So if I want to make some big customizations for me, it's just easier to select it here, set as current. And again, if I need to add extensions, you know, some PHP um, pieces of software, they require certain extensions, I can add them in here. Um, if I know there's some I want to add, I can click them and add them in here. You know, back in the old days, I like to say, you used to have to contact support and say, hey, I need to add um, APCU, and we would actually have to go in and install it or rebuild Apache. Well, those days are gone. You can add any PHP extension you need here. If you don't see something in the list, then you can submit a ticket and we can have it added. We try to, you know, add all the most common and popular ones. Um, but between versions, some of these extensions get depreciated. So, you know, we, we try to keep everything up, up to date and stuff, but if you, there's something you don't see, you know, maybe it has been depreciated or maybe we can add that in for you. So that's a reason why you'd want to contact support. But again, going back to these PHP options, 
This is the easiest way to increase that upload limit. Um, you know, your post max size, if you're using WordPress, you of course want to increase this. The memory limit is a big one. We try to keep this about 128 nowadays because with the WordPress themes out there, you know, this is certainly needed, but you can go all the way up to 512 megabytes if needed. And when you make any of these changes, you just click save. And then, it, and of course, it'll save and then it'll take effect on your website. So, um, you know, recently we did have some, we saw an influx of tickets from people that were using the native version. And once we changed it, they had a couple issues. So um, what we informed them is, hey, you know, you can go back to using 5.6 if you want. You know, if that was the native version on whatever node you're on, if it was 7.0, you can go back and run that. And, you know, many of them, you know, they did that until they could get with their developer or until they could add time to update WordPress. Um, and of course, then they could go right on up to 7.2. So we have this option at Name Hero because we want to you to be flexible. Um, it's a common complaint that when we started Name Hero, we wanted to solve. We wanted to give all of our customers the ability to use multiple versions of PHP, but we wanted to do it in a secure way. You know, we didn't want to just have PHP 5.6 on there and not secured and updated because it puts your site at risk. So that's why we have this multi PHP selector, or that's why we have the PHP selector option as well as the multi-PHP. So you've got several different options when it comes to how you run your website. Um, even though we offer shared web hosting, shared cloud web hosting and reseller hosting, you know, we wanna allow our users to customize everything as much as they can so it makes their um, experience much better. So that's why we have all this stuff in here and we wanna really take, it, um, you know, take the guesswork out of it. You know, We don't have, want you to have to go edit files or go find a PHP any file. Everything's right in here inside a cPanel so you can easily add, modify, make changes if you have a developer they can also get in here if they need to or if you're installing a theme and you know they require some of these settings you can do everything right here inside of cPanel so in short you know we are always going to run the latest stable version of PHP that's you know receiving active support um, that's getting security fixes you know that's what we are going to um, you know always do here at name hero as I said we ran five six for a long time because look how long they kept security fixes because the jump from five six to seven oh was so big you know, they knew they needed to keep that for going for quite some time. But with that ending, the 1st of January, you know, we, it was time we made this change across the entire network. And, you know, I know it's a little frustrating at first when a change such as this comes, such as big as this comes. Um, but that's why we do have these other options inside of here and, you know, allow you to take full control of your account with this here at Name Hero. So it's been, a, it's been quite the daunting and long task here at Name Hero to get all of this completed. And it's taken, you know, every bit of the first five or six weeks here of 2019 to, to get this point to where we are today. And I think, you know, based on the support ticket volume, the calls that are coming in and the live chats that I believe, you know, we're successfully uh, running, everyone's running the 7.2 now and we don't see a ton of issues. But I did want to get this video out here to you know, kind of explain the change and, and why it happened and you know, when it will happen again. You know, again, not until we start getting towards this end of 2019 when we look at, um, or even 2021, the end of 2020, I'm sorry, um, looking at changing that over to 7.3. So you know, we've got some time now, but we definitely had to move forward from 5.6 and 7.0 um, for the safety and security, as well of course the performance, because there's a, you know, you can run, you can select the older versions of PHP on your website and you'll notice that huge speed increase, uh, certainly going up in here to the 7.1s and 7.2s. You can see uh, most of our nodes too are also getting the 7.3. So you know, if you want to run the latest and greatest, you can of course upgrade to that. Um, the only thing about 7.3 is you know you want to make sure if you're running WordPress and if you're using plugins that they are compatible with 7.3. Not a tremendously big jump from 7.2, but there is a couple things that's um, a little bit different. So you know, 7.2 is what I recommend running right now. It's what I'm running on my personal sites and stuff. And I think that's that's what you should be as well unless you really know what you're doing then you can jump ahead um, and go to 7.3. So at Name Hero, this is available to you. If you're a reseller, this is available to all your customers. Um, if you're a VPS customer, you have the option to use the multi-PHP. So if we go back to cPanel, if you don't want to add Cloud Linux, you'll still have this option to where you can use the multi-PHP manager. And you can revert back to PHP 5.6 but this is not the alt version. So you can see EA here stands for Easy Apache. So this is like just a standard version of PHP. Whereas the alt version of 5.6, this is, this is from Cloud Linux. So this is secured and updated um, continually by the Cloud Linux team. So you, you wanna be running, if you're not, you wanna be running the, um, the latest version, so 7.2, 
or you want to use PHP Selector to run an alternate version. That's your options when you're when we're talking about PHP here at Name Hero. So I hope that made sense. If it doesn't, feel free to comment on this video. I'm gonna put it on the blog. Um, ask questions or comments there. I'll personally respond to you. Of course, you can reach out to our support team. They'll explain it. Our VP of Operations, Josh, has explained it quite some um, quite a lot here recently, just because people were all wondering um, that had the native version set, why did the native version change? Well, that's again why we have the PHP Selector. The native version, it can change at any time based on what's needed for the system as a whole. If you don't want PHP to change, use the selector, hard select it, and then it will not. None of your extensions will change or your PHP options as well. They will not change. That stays static. So just keep that in mind when you're using uh, PHP or you're setting these preferences. Again, if you have any questions, just let us know. But this is just another way that we're able to make your site extremely fast, secure, and um, you know, kind of pushing on through the new year here. So thanks so much for watching and using us here at namehero.com.